What's up guys, Eshin here, and today we're going to do a quick let's play of the new Smash DLC because it came out yesterday, or today, of the recording. And yeah, we're just going to do a quick run through of Corrin and Bayonetta, which are the two new DLC characters and the final DLC, uh, sorry, the final DLC characters. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a quick match of Bayonetta versus... Uh, Corrin, and I'm just gonna put it on to a stock match. Three lives is good. Um, change that level to six. And yeah, we're gonna go fight on the um, Umbra Clock Tower, which is the Bayonetta stage, which is also part of this DLC. And yeah, so. I was playing as these characters earlier today, um, just because I, I was rendering a video and my computer wouldn't let me capture anything and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I was playing as them a little bit. Uh, I like them. They're, they're fun to play as. Um, Bayonetta's moveset I'm not as good with. Uh, I think it's kind of weird. I'm getting used to it the more and more I play as her. Um, Corrin, uh, I like how he slash she, depending on what costume you choose. Um, he plays a lot different than the other uh, Fire Emblem characters, because like Mar uh, Marth, Lucina, and Roy, they are just copies of each other. Um, slightly different, different stats. Um, Roy's fire based, obviously, all that stuff. And then Ike, he he's different, but he still has similar like move sets, and he has a similar type of fighting style. But then the characters like Robin, uh, he slash he again with the costumes, um, he can have different like completely different move sets. And same, like, same thing with Corrin here, um, they got different styles of fighting and all kinds of stuff, and I like that because all the other Fire Emblem characters, they, they just feel too similar. Um, oh, I finally actually did a Final Smash. I guess it just got to hit a few amount of times, because I've never been able to just do a Final Smash. Okay, I get it now. Oh, okay. I was like, why am I falling? Uh, yeah, you just, I guess it's the Final Smash, you just got to do... Hit, hit him a amount of times and she'll do her smash. Um, yeah, and then Bayonetta, her moveset, she's again very unique. I like how most of the DLC characters have been unique. Like, all the new characters like uh, Ryu, uh, Cloud, Bayonetta, and Korin now, they're all like more unique than characters we haven't seen in the Smash before, whether it was the first one. Um, ah, damn it. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> anyway, so different characters. Right, there was the first one, Brawl, Melee, or this one. Uh, all these characters feel completely unique and original, and I like that. Um, yeah, I, I like I like both of them so far. Uh, I think I, I don't know which one I'm exactly playing as. I mean, I got I can understand Corn's move uh, moveset a little better. The more and more I play as Bandana, though, I'm getting her more moveset. Um, and I like that, that I'm getting her moveset, and she's actually fun to play as. The only thing I don't like is her recovery is not that good. It doesn't, she doesn't go that high with it. Um, but she does have this kick move that helps, too, if you're, like, you're far out. Um, yeah. Um, I like all of her, her guns and stuff. Uh, I, I always liked Bayonetta as a character, uh, even though I never actually played either, either, of, her, either of her games. Uh, I wanted to get Bayonetta 2 on Wii U when it came out, but I didn't have a Wii U when it first came out. I didn't get one for like a month later, and, uh, let's see, ah, uh, did I hit? Yeah, I got him. Uh, he's not dead though. Um, but I never, I just never got around getting it, and now it's like hard to find new, and I really like buying my games new. Um, but there are, oh yeah, I won. But yeah, they're releasing the, uh, standalone just Bayonetta 2 without Bayonetta 1 again on Wii U soon, so I'll probably pick that up. Um, yeah, so because that was Bayonetta versus Corrin. Now we're just going to do a, another match of Corrin versus Bayonetta, just to round it out so you can see how these characters play. Um, okay, I'll just move Bayonetta here. Okay. Oh. going to put her in her classic well, not really classic, but her Bayonetta 1 outfit. I'm going to play as female. 
for the purposes of this. You can see the other costumes. The other ones are just color variants. Um, I see. I like about this Smash um, Smash Four is how they have different costumes for the characters more so. Um, yeah, I do wish they had like you know they, some of them look completely different because like most of the original. Um, excuse me. Most of the original like characters in Smash they don't have like different like poses or whatever but you look at like Cloud's alternate costume you know he's got the regular Final Fantasy 7 one he's got the Advent Children one and they're he has a different pose and all that stuff and same thing with Bayonetta's but like you look at you know Link's Fierce ZT uh co based costume um or a Skyward Sword based costume they're like different or the same pose I mean see I wish like they had like oh yeah you're just flat out in the clothes you wore at the beginning of Skyward Sword or the clothes you wore in the beginning of Twilight Princess. I wish that was like a thing. But, you know, whatever. Smash is not really about that. But, uh, so I like it. Ah. Oh. I hurt myself with that. Yeah, as, as I've said in other Smash videos before, um, I don't really play Smash competitively, I guess you call it, with, you know, only Final Destination, no items, blah, 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 this, no certain characters or whatever. I don't play that way. I play with all items on. Uh, I play whatever stage, stage hazards, um, any character, whatever, I don't care. Uh, it's because I like having fun. Smash is about fun for me, not about, you know, whatever. I, I play a lot of games. I don't play any game good competitive, uh, like, because that's not how I play games. I like to have fun when I play my video games. Ah! Damn you, you damn witch. <laughs> that was a pun. Oh! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Chicken attack! Yeah, I know they're not called chickens, I just never knew how to pronounce the uh, way you're supposed to pronounce them from Zelda. So I've always just called them chickens. Uh, yeah, don't get mad at me, internet, for that, but I just call them chickens, because that's what they are. Ooh, spike drill thingy. Okay. Ah! Oh. Uh, yeah, you can probably hear the controller clicking. Uh, but that's what happens because the mic is near it. But yeah, so I just won as Corn. I also won as Bayonetta before. But yeah, so that's the two final DLC characters for Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS. Um, yeah, I, I like these characters. They're they're fun to play as. They're unique, different. I like it. Um, yeah, so make sure you guys like, share, and sub no, I'm sorry. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments or whatever how you feel about these new characters. Do you think that Nintendo might be slide dogs and give us more DLC eventually? Uh, I feel like it could happen. Um, you never know with Nintendo. But yeah, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs>